Hi everyone, this is Neil Reitert here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. We have here for you a couple of clients who attended with not only occluding earwax, but also underlying glue ear, which is a middle ear infection. And both patients are paediatric patients, so they are, I think, around about seven or eight years of age, um, both, both patients. And this is patient one, and we're just cleaning out their left ear which is fully occluded with soft wax and dead skin. You can see all this dead keratin that I'm removing. Um, this is this uh, very glutinous, mushy consistency. The, the patient, um, the parents have been putting some drops in their ears. I think it's sodium bicarbonate drops. And the way sodium bicarbonate drops work is as they enter the ear, the sodium bicarbonate um, reacts with an acid, uh, which is a byproduct of... Um, the skin floor, the bacteria that resides on the skin, healthy bacteria that resides on the skin, um, they feed off um, sebum, which is secreted by the sebaceous glands, and they release a carboxylic acid. Sodium bicarbonate reacts with that, and it changes into water and carbon dioxide, and the formation, so from a liquid to a gas, and which creates uh, mechanical foaming, effervescence, which then breaks up the skin, hence why you get a mushy consistency. So this is patient's one left eardrum. It's retracted. You can see the eardrum sucked in. The top part of the hammer bone is protruding out, so it's prominent. The eardrum's red, and it's dull, and it's inflamed. Um, and this is their right ear. So again, similar consistency. It's quite soft and mushy. So sodium bicarbonate is water-based. Uh, so it, not only does it break down the earwax in the, in the manner I just described, so um, the formation of carbon dioxide, so the transversion of a liquid to a gas, uh, effervescence, and mechanical foaming, breaks up the skin that contain, is contained within earwax. 60% of earwax is typically dead skin, but also the skin that lands the ear canal, it also breaks that up. Um, and the skin cells also absorb the water, they then swell, overhydrate, and the, they... they burst from the membranes which again makes skin very mushy so this is their right eardrum you can see at six o'clock the eardrum sucked in also at the attic at the top it's sucked in at three and nine o'clock they've got scar tissue tympanous grosis so they have had a previous grommet um, uh, uh, their parents advised me and the top part of the ear canal near the eardrum the scutum has been eroded so we call that an auto atticotomy which then is revealing the neck of the hammer bone. So the hammer bone, also known as the malleus, um, you've got the main branch of the hammer bone called the manubrum, and it's attached to the eardrum at the center, the uh, place we call the umbo. And then we've got the neck of the malleus, which goes upwards into the middle ear. And we don't normally see that, but because the top part of the, um, the ear canal, the scutum area, has been eroded, it's revealed the neck of the malleus. And you can also see a subsection of the head of the malleus. And, Normally, the neck and the head of the malleus is located behind the eardrum. So they've got glue ear here. And the reason why that bone has been eroded is because when the eardrum gets sucked in, it can sometimes constrict the blood vessels, which obviously supply blood and nutrients to the bone, and that can then lead to the, the decay and necrosis of the bone. So that ear in particular was severely uh, retracted. They've had a grommet in there in the past, and at six o'clock, you saw the eardrum sucked in. I suspect that's the region where they had the grommet fitted. So patient two, again, you can see I've just paused it. The eardrum is very red. It's dull. Um, anteriorly, there's a patch of dead skin. So they probably had a perforation before, maybe. And it's that's where it's healed. Uh, so I'm just mopping up near the entrance. And same patient. This is their left ear. This wax didn't come out as easy compared to their right here this is a bit more of a, uh, a tug of war i had to t loosen this bring it out so what's glue ear so glue ear uh, is a buildup of fluid that becomes infected behind the eardrum uh, typically it's caused by the eardrum being sucked in and the eardrum gets sucked in typically if the eustachian tube which is a narrow tube an orifice that connects the middle ear cavity so the cavity behind the eardrum to the back of the nose the eustachian tube under normal resting state is closed but Involuntarily, as we swallow, yawn, or chew, the muscles uh, either side of the eustachian tube, where it connects to the back of the nose, they contract, causes the eustachian tube to open, and the eustachian tube allows air to enter or exit the middle ear. We want the air pressure behind the eardrum to be equal to the air pressure in the atmosphere. 
when the air pressure is at equilibrium either side of the eardrum that's when our eardrum is most mobile that's when we hear the best um, so if the eustachian tube is blocked uh, all the remaining air in the middle ear is absorbed by the cells within the middle ear which then creates a vacuum there's no more air behind the eardrum the eardrum gets cupped in it gets sucked in just like we're on, when we're on a plane when we're descending on a plane and then fluid is drawn out into the middle ear by these cells and also the, the cells in the middle ear uh, are secretory cells they are mucosal cells so they can also secrete fluid uh, and this any excess fluid is normally drained out the eustachian tube but of course if that's blocked this fluid collects it builds up like a blocked drain pipe in, in the house and the middle ear fills up with fluid again that eardrum it's dull you can see the effusion is quite yellow so effusion is a medical term for fluid um, the eardrum's retracted as well quite a very twisty bend here now that i'm watching this back the eardrum veers off to the left and this fluid if it doesn't um if it's unable to drain if the station tube doesn't resolve and doesn't unblock itself it's going to collect and eventually it can burst through the eardrum and leave a perforation so you can see that yellow mist in the background that's all the effusion and you can see the eardrum it's quite red so it's inflamed too well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.